everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a purchase or pass. It has been a while since I have filmed one of these, like it's been months. So this is long overdue. I have some Instagram posts here on my phone that I'm going to be going through. I'm gonna be using the Trend Mood Instagram. I will have their account linked down below. I follow them for like news and updates on all of the new makeup releases and like brand announcements and stuff like that. I highly recommend their Instagram account. I love them. Um, so yeah, that's where all my pictures will be from. Thank God I said that so that I remember to like scoot over to the side because that's something that I always forget to do. So if you guys <laughs> <laughs> don't know what a purchase or pass video is basically I'm gonna go through a few Instagram posts on new makeup releases and let you guys know my thoughts I'm gonna tell you if I plan on purchasing or passing and yeah just kind of like a conversational type video so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started the first post that I'm going to be talking about centers around the brand she glam now I do not know anything about she glam I honestly don't know anything other than the fact that the price point is supposed to be reasonable like inexpensive makeup but I don't know like who that brand is. I don't know um, if the products are good. I've like hardly heard of the brand, um, but I saw this post on Trend Mood and I thought these palettes were interesting. Um, the price is really what interested me. They're only $7.50 to $8.50 per palette, which is very inexpensive for an eyeshadow palette. And I kind of want to try it, but like at the same time, I'm kind of like, like what is this brand so please let me know in the comments have you heard of she glam is it worth trying would you be interested in seeing a video on their products because i don't really know i haven't seen any videos on them myself but this like makes me want to go look them up and kind of learn more about the brand so please let me know your thoughts on she glam down below i just wanted to mention this instagram post even though i don't know if i'm purchasing or not you guys will be my deciding factor if like the majority of you want to see a video then I will definitely purchase products but if you guys don't really care which you might not care I don't know then I won't do a video so I'm leaving this first one up to you guys you will be the determining factor on whether or not I purchase well I guess whether I purchase or pass. <laughs> English is hard oh my god this next picture is a picture of Pat McGrath and Pat McGrath is a super bougie, super expensive brand if you're not familiar. Um, I do have a few of her products and they are really nice. Definitely luxury makeup and it looks like that this is a sneak peek for a new eyeshadow palette. Um, so this will be their Mothership 9 Utopia Artistry palette. The reveal is today? This was posted 19 hours ago and it says the reveal is tomorrow. So is that today? <laughs> I think that's today. So maybe there's a reveal. I'll have to look in a second. Um, but it says coming soon on their website and Sephora Thoughts. So I do have one Pat McGrath like Mothership palette. These palettes are like $130 or something like that. Extremely expensive. I think they're 10 pan palettes if I'm not wrong. And it's definitely something that I don't use enough. Like I do not get my money's worth out of that palette. So um, I do want to start playing with that eyeshadow palette more. I have a couple of smaller palettes from them as well that I never use. I don't even know if I ever have used them. My eyeshadow palette declutter really kind of opened my eyes on my eyeshadow palette collection. So um, this interests me. The Divine Rose one that came out recently was so pretty and I was so tempted by it, but I didn't buy it. Depending on what the color story is of this palette, I'm, I, I may buy it. I might. Um, I, I just need to see the inside of the palette. The external packaging is gorgeous, and I feel like I would, based on the colors of the packaging, I, I think I would love the color story, but I guess it all depends. Let me go to the Pat McGrath Instagram really quick and see if there's been a reveal. Okay, so the palette is going to be revealed at 4.30. It's currently 4.15, so I'm going to set an alarm for 4 30 and that way I remember to check and see um, the reveal because I'm so excited so I was reading the description of the palette on the Pat McGrath Instagram account and it says this utopian dream diva is here to radiate rainbows so I am very excited 
I can't wait to see the color story. Um, so I guess we will revisit this in a moment. So this is Future Paige inserting herself into this video because I completely forgot to respond to my alarm and talk about the reveal of the palette. And now I realize I left my phone in the other room, so I'll be right back. So this is Future Page slash editing page. Um, and I saw the inside of the palette. And you guys, oh my god, it is such a beautiful palette. The colors, everything, oh my god, it's amazing. I need it, I need it, I need it. The, <laughs> I love the color story. Seeing it in the palette is beautiful. I love the peachy tones, the pop of purple, the pop of gold, the neutral tones. I feel like it's such a wearable palette and that I would get a lot of use out of it. But then when you see the swatches, like, what are those swatches? So those are beautiful, so metallic, so beautiful. I need this palette, you guys. <laughs> it's a pricey palette. Um, let me check the price. Does it say? Does it say? It's coming soon, mid-August. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna need it. It doesn't have the price on here, but I think it's like $130 for her Mothership palette. So, that is it for future page. I'm gonna let you guys get back to the video. Next, we have a palette from Violet Voss. This was spotted in stores at Sephora, um, so it's obviously a collaboration between Violet Voss and Care Bears. It says that this is a colorful palette that includes 12 different shades with matte and shimmery and metallic finishes. It's $36, coming soon to their website um, and online at Sephora. So, okay, I feel like this could have been like amazing, but I don't know. I feel like it looks kind of blah, like, eh. Uh, the packaging is really cute, like the external packaging with the little bears on it is adorable. But I feel like there's nothing like special or different about the actual color story of the palette. Like, I don't even feel like those colors match the external packaging, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Violet Voss. I really want Violet Voss to like do something insane. I feel like they used to be super popular here on YouTube, but I've slowly like heard of them less and less and less. Um, I do have one palette from them and it's like their neon palette. It's so pretty, but I don't know. I feel like this kind of just doesn't really make sense to me. So this is something that I will not be purchasing. Next, we have an update about Marc Jacobs, and this is so exciting for me to hear. Um, so there's been a lot of rumors about Marc Jacobs Beauty going out of business or like different branches of the company going out of business, but we have an update um, and it looks like the brand is not closing. None of their lines are closing, not their makeup, not their perfume, not anything. Um, I think they're just like close to like the end of a contract and they're deciding like what's the next best step to take um so like there's a possibility of new formulas and packaging which is why a lot of their products are on sale so if you guys love Marc Jacobs products I would say stock up because formulations, products, packaging, all of that could be changing soon. Um, but I am happy to hear that they are not going out of business. That's so exciting. I was worried. I was worried there for a little bit. I feel like that rumor like spread like crazy. Um, especially after like Becca officially like announcing that they are closing as a brand. I feel like it was easy to believe the rumor that Marc Jacobs was following their footsteps. So um, yeah, that's super exciting. I'm very happy. Next, we have a fun product from Jouer. This is their new Bloom Bronze and Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Duos. So these are gonna retail for $32 each. I, I do have to say <laughs> that I feel like a lot of brands are coming out with the exact same products right now. The uh, Makeup by Mario brand just did like contour sticks. Then Anastasia did a very similar thing. Then M Cosmetics did a very similar thing. And now here we have Jouer with a very similar thing. So I don't know if like they all got the same information that this type of product would be trendy now because obviously it takes time to 
create a product, make the product, and release the product. Um, and all of these products came out at the like same exact time, like within like a week and a half of each other, I feel like. So I don't think there was like copying going on. I just feel like they probably all got the same tip <laughs> that like summer to fall 2021 like contour sticks and highlighter sticks and blush sticks are gonna be the thing um so yeah it, it interests me like why did that happen like when was the last time a new contour stick came out like the last one i can think of is the kim kardashian one um so very interesting but <laughs> these do look nice to me the colors are beautiful um i'm not like super skilled when it comes to cream bronzer cream highlighter cream blush but i have been loving those products recently and i've been using them so much more and i feel like out of all of them i think that this one is the most intriguing to me um all the other ones are just kind of like i don't know i didn't feel like the urge to want to try them but for some reason i like the idea of the bronzer and highlighter stick combo and the shades are beautiful also i love jouer products like i love them i need them to do something amazing as well maybe this is their thing i, I want them back on top like the front page of the makeup news in a good way like i i don't know i feel like I feel like they're underrated so um i definitely want to try this and i probably will end up picking up a shade next we have a product from the brand desi skin and i believe i think this is desi perkins like this is her skincare brand i'm a little bit behind with the information on this brand i know who desi perkins is but i'm not like an avid follower of her so um i definitely am not the most knowledgeable on the topic at the moment but july 27th 9 a.m desi skin is releasing a setting spray i love setting spray like i love <laughs> i love setting spray i have way too many um this one is gonna be at 34 dollars which is pretty pricey that's a lot of money um but this is the prep set and refresh face mist the packaging is incredible like i love the packaging um it makes me want to buy it it has vitamin c caffeine ceramides hyaluronic acid Plus the signature Desi Youth Juice, an all-natural custom blend of exotic fruits uh, that are rich in antioxidants. The formula is propelled by pure oxygen, which is nourishing to the skin and environmentally friendly as well. I really want to buy this, but if I buy this, I feel like it would be a splurge purchase. It's so cute. I love the aesthetic, love the vibe, love setting sprays. I love the description of the product. It is kind of pricey, um, but I really want to try something from the brand. And like I said, I love face mist. Setting spray, face mist, oh, give it all to me. Next, we have a fun little collection from e.l.f. This is so cute and I really love the vibe. If I'm being honest though, I already purchased from this collection <laughs> so obviously this is a purchase um so they released two oh it's almost 4 30 um they released two new products i think the bite size brow and the bite size balm so the balm comes in four shades um i only ordered one i ordered mint just because the other colors i don't know i want to see the formula first and if i like the formula i would consider purchasing the other shades um and then i did order the brow product i think i might have ordered two different shades just to try the balm is four dollars and the brow is three dollars so in the little bite sized brow you get two waxes and two powders it comes in six different shades and it's available online on the elf website that's where i purchased mine and yeah i'm excited i think this is a fun product and it's very inexpensive it's also trendy and i'm really excited to try this i think this was a really smart move by elf this next product is an interesting one and i think it's very fitting that the brand that created this or came out with it is huda beauty uh, i feel like they're super innovative with their products and i get a lot of their tiktoks on my for you page <laughs> and anytime i'm like seeing some insane like beauty routine or like a crazy pedicure or like some like satisfying like 
video I it's always Huda Beauty anytime I'm watching it I like I'm gonna look over and it's gonna be Huda Beauty hello hi <laughs> that was, oh man upstairs neighbors aren't they amazing <laughs> um so anyway, off my rant about Huda Beauty, this is a waterproof top coat for mascara. So this is a jelly-like formula that you put on top of your lashes, and it makes your eyelashes waterproof, tear-proof, sweat-proof, and smudge-proof. It says this formula works by harnessing film formers and resins that coat each lash that sounds a little scary but it also sounds cool and i feel like it might be gimmicky like it's either gonna work great or it's gonna be like a gimmick and like not work at all um i feel like it doesn't like make sense to me in the way that like i feel like once you like put it on your lashes like stuff is gonna be on the wand and then you're gonna contaminate the product and i feel like it's just gonna get like caked up with like leftover mascara and it's gonna mix and not be the same similar to what happens with like a clear brow gel like i don't know if you can see this but you can like this part of it is so dirty because well it looks dirty i guess because the brush you know when i put my clear brow gel on i it picks up some of my foundation or my brow pencil and then i stick it in and then it gets all like not clear anymore <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like that would happen with this but like even worse because I feel like mascara is so much messier than just like a little bit of brow pencil so I would be interested to see how it works I don't know that I'll purchase it I don't see a price so I don't even know how much it is but it says it's available now next is another announcement which I am so excited about this was actually announced like a week ago this is like as far back as I go for this video um, I feel like a week like a week's worth of releases is like a good amount of content for, per video and that way it's like as up-to-date as possible so basically forever mood which is jackie Ina's candle brand is in sephora now which is so cool i have never purchased from forever mood but i've always wanted to her candles look fantastic first of all they're so cute i love the packaging they are pretty pricey they're 38 dollars which is uh, it's a pricey candle um but I mean, I feel like I have to do it at some point. Like, I am going to purchase a candle. Um, one, because, like, I love supporting influencers and I would love to support Jackie Ina. Um, but two, my interest is just, like, locked on. Ever since I've seen these launch, I'm like, I need one. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll end up buying one at some point. Not sure when that will be, but since they're in Sephora, that makes them so much more accessible and I am so excited. And congratulations to Jackie Ina on getting her brand inside Sephora. Like, that is so cool. Um, so this is a probably in the future I will purchase, but maybe not right now. I've got a lot going on. I don't know if I can spend $38 on a candle at the moment, but I definitely will in the near future. All right, you guys, so that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, um, I don't know, what did I say? I said a lot of things. Um, I will have Trend Mood's Instagram linked down below. Please let me know your thoughts on these launches in the comments down below. Do you plan on purchasing any of these items or specifically not purchasing any of them i would love to hear your thoughts so make sure you leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up i think i like just said that like a minute ago and i don't remember if i did so just for good measure i said it again i love you all so so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye